Wait, let me take a picture of this first so I can show it to Kamal. Okay. <laughs> now I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, first question. Can you assess your play today and in relation to that, how you feel about your game going into your next match, which possibly could be against Serena? Yeah, um, I thought I played well today. Uh, obviously getting into a little bit of a better rhythm, like kind of feeling my game out a little bit more, getting that confidence back. So uh, today I thought I played well, built on my first match. Um, and then obviously another good opportunity to get out there on Saturday to play against Serena possibly. And um, really looking forward to it. Another you know shot just to have an opportunity to play, obviously without having played that much this year. It's just another amazing opportunity to get out there. And physically, how do you feel physically? going into your next match, considering you haven't played in quite some time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I feel good. Nothing's wrong with me. Fingers crossed. Not, everything's good so far. Okay, this is uh, a question that has to do with the U.S. Open atmosphere. Mm -hmm. If, in fact, you were to play Serena to mm -hmm. Americans at the U.S. Open, no fans. What's your, you know, how do you wrap yourself around that? Uh, well, I know if there were fans, it would be so lit. And I'm kind of sad that we're not playing in front of fans because it would be so fun. But um, no, like I said, another good opportunity to play. Thankful that we're playing in this time just in general. Obviously, no fans. The atmosphere won't be as big, but obviously a big opportunity to play against the greatest player in the world. So um, yeah, unfortunate, but still fortunate. Okay, another question. Without giving away too much of your strategy, what would be your strategy? Oh my God, I just finished my last match. I can't even like be happy about that. You guys don't give me a break. <laughs> um, I would never tell you guys my strategy, so I don't even know who asked that. <laughs> okay, we're just, uh, just waiting to load someone in. It'll be on the video board right in front of you. Uh, and that young man is Wayne from USA Today. Wayne, you are on live with Sloan. Let me take a picture of Wayne. Thank you for calling me young, Gary. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Sloan, uh, Sloan, I will, uh, I will take a few, few moments to let you be very happy about your result. <laughs> Thank you. But I, uh, I wanted to ask if, when this tournament began, the, the draw was full of young American players of color from Coco Goff to um, Whitney, Robin Montgomery, Haley Baptiste. And I'm just curious how you feel about that as an African-American player. And if you, if you have a, any particular thoughts about the reason for it. Um, what, what do you mean the reason for like why there's so many women of color playing or what, what's the question? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, well, I think it's awesome. Obviously, um, right now, kind of leading our sport on the women's side is African American women, which is amazing. From Naomi to Coco, Venus and Serena, obviously Maddie, myself, um, and then obviously the younger girls that are coming up. Um, I think that there's an amazing opportunity to get more um, women of color in the sport, and obviously tennis is giving us so much in our lives. And um, I think it's an amazing opportunity right now to get more people of color in the sport because you can see um, now there's so many amazing players playing, and um, it's a good opportunity for us. Thank you. Sloan, thank you very much. Oh, my God, I love these. Stuff. Can we just change to these all the time? They're, like, literally four minutes. It's so good. Keep us in your thoughts. Oh, my God, I will. I'm going to definitely.